Hey guys, so it is uh, Thursday. I cannot believe how fast time is going. Like, I feel like this week just started. I have so much to do, I'm just so busy. Um, but anyway, I am on my way to try on my dress. Hopefully it's completely altered. Um, we did make two appointments just in case today we tried on and something else needs to be fixed or we you know need adjustments but I'm really hoping it's just good to go um, so I'll let you guys know how it goes obviously I don't want to show you guys my dress it's I just don't want to put it just in case you know Josh looks it up or something but I think it's fun for everyone to be surprised about wedding dresses maybe I don't know um, but then me and my mom are gonna go to the venue and I have a bunch of stuff to drop off there I'm gonna start dropping things off just so I don't have to make like a big you know I don't think I'd be able to fit everything I have in the car anyway in one trip. So I'm starting to do like little drop offs, but um, we're gonna look at the ceremony space and we're working on making like an arch. My mom's making it. Um, so we're gonna test it out and see how it looks. I'm actually so tired because last night I was trying to go to bed early because I had to get up for this. Because I've been going to sleep super late lately because I'm just crazy and <laughs> I don't know. Um, but. I, just as I was about to go to sleep, I saw someone tweet that Gina and Jesse from uh, BF versus GF had broken up, and I was heartbroken last night. Oh my god! I was I watched their video about it, and I was literally crying. I, they've been vlogging. If you don't if you don't know who they are, they've been vlogging every single day, well most days, um, but pretty much every day, for seven years. They're from Prank versus Prank, if you know that, but their vlog channel is like over eight million subscribers, and they've just like they're like kind of they they're kind of like parents to people like some people watch them every single day um i don't know if they're like for sure breaking up but they said they're like taking a break and they're moving to different states and i was just so sad and they're like ending their vlog channel and it's just really sad because they, they talked about how daily vlogging can really like put a strain on a relationship and that's the reason why i've never committed to do daily vlogs like i'll do vlog December or like you know sometimes i do have a little vlogging streak but when i don't want to be on camera or me and josh are having issues which honestly like never really happens but like if josh and i just need time to ourselves just you know private time then we we just don't vlog and i think that's like the best way to do it you know because i don't i just think every single day is would take a toll on anybody like having your life on camera every single day can you even imagine like put yourself in those shoes it's crazy like it's way too much and I've never understood how people do it um, that's why sometimes I like do a couple days and combine like a little bit of each day like a couple minutes from each day because there's just I just would want to put everything out there for people to judge and that's the hardest thing about their relationship I think was that they were starting to like take what people were saying too seriously so very sad for them I really hope they work it out and um, I hope that people are understanding of the fact that they needed to do this for their mental health you know I think they're miserable so very sad and definitely just a reminder to me that I will never ever daily vlog so my mom's car battery just died and neither of us know how to jump a car but I'm gonna google it and try to figure it out because we are not helpless women and we're gonna figure it out my mom found someone of course because she didn't trust us to be able to do it on our own which is probably good it's pretty dangerous I guess this is hilarious <laughs> So I'm gonna go meet single people without having to go on plane fish. That's a good car, idea. Die down and wait till people come it's drive a new by. way to find men, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> Just <by>. kidding. <laughs> road here uh, just to let you guys know my dress looks fucking incredible I'm so glad I took it to her and I, I can't believe I ever like kind of doubted her a little bit um, she did amazing it looks perfect she's gonna fix one little thing it's like a little loose kind of right here so she's just gonna tuck that and I'm picking it up on Saturday and I'm just so excited so yeah we got my mom's car jumped <laughs> it's hilarious she totally was hitting on that guy I think he was getting scared so I'm about to be at the hotel I just pulled up to a light and um, I just had to call the cops on someone. I Well, the non-emergency highway patrol. Some dude was driving so erratically, like speeding, and like, I almost, he seriously almost hit me, because um, I got over and he almost slammed in the back of me. And then he was riding on everyone and like switching lanes every like few seconds and bad. So I called the um, state patrol 
just non-emergency number, which I really recommend that you guys look up those numbers for wherever you live and store them in your phone um, because it's, I mean, it's too hard to look it up while you're driving or anything, but it really helps. Like I have that and as well as like the animal cruelty numbers um, because like I, whenever I see dogs locked in cars in the heat, I always call too. It's just good to have those non-emergency numbers because you shouldn't call 911 for, you know, everything. Yeah. This is all sand. That's incredible. That must have taken so long. Yeah. So this is the reception or the rehearsal dinner space. Josh is gonna want to see this. Josh has been in charge of this, so he'll want to see. Yeah, I know. Like you're doing the rehearsal dinner. You're gonna have five rides, please. You don't want to stay here. This is where we'll get married, and we're gonna decorate this. Hey guys, so um, I didn't finish vlogging yesterday. It wasn't anything exciting. We had wings for dinner and worked out and uh, worked on wedding stuff. And I watched Grey's Anatomy season finale. Oh my gosh. Dude, it was crazy. If you haven't already seen it, I'm not gonna spoil it. But I just, let me just say, it makes me very scared to have a baby one day. Anyway, um, right now I'm going to a new nail salon and I'm really excited about it. I haven't been to, like I've been going to this nail salon for a while, right? And I've told you guys in the vlogs that it just got really shitty. Like the management changed I think in November because it just got really bad after that and I used to love it. And so I found a new place that has five stars and I'm like amazed because they all speak English. It's just really refreshing to be able to actually communicate with someone clearly without, like they'll actually be able to understand it, you know what I mean? So um, just really cool, I'm really excited about it. And yes, yeah, so I'll let you guys know how it goes. All right, so these nails turned out amazing. The nail salon was amazing. This is called Simply Nails. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's really cool. Um, I loved it in there. They were like really nice and I made two more appointments, so I'm really excited. And I can't decide, what do you guys think? Should I go with like this, like light pink for the wedding or go with like a French? Leave me a comment, let me know. So Josh and I decided that I really need to get my ass out of the house and focus on something other than this wedding. You are just too stressed out. I am. I just, it's so stressful. It's stressful. But it really is. Like, there's 140 there's people coming, and I have just an endless to-do list. And then on top of that, we're going to Thailand, like, in, like, a day or two after. So, we have to be, like, prepared for everything. And I'm just, and I need to pre-film a couple things. I'm worried I won't have enough videos to go up while I'm gone, but I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go um, get some salad at Super Salad. Wait, is that what it's called? No, Sweet Tomatoes. There used to be a place called Super Salad, but... And then we're gonna go to see the movie, um, a movie, <laughs> uh, what's it called? Neighbors 2. Neighbors 2. Are you excited to see that? Yeah. It looks like it's gonna be pretty funny. I think it's gonna be pretty funny. I really liked, um, I liked the first one, so that'd be fun. Guys, the salad bar at Sweet Tomatoes. Look if you have one to eat. It is so good. Okay, look at the difference between Josh's salad, so basic, and mine. I put like everything in, and he's always like, oh my god, that's not even a salad anymore. It's like so much stuff, but. I like separate tastes. Separate like taste? Salad. Caesar. <gasps> Caesar house. Oh, okay. I see how I you do. Sample, mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Yep, totally. Mine looks really good. I'm about to eat this. So, final question, or final thoughts on the movie. What do you think? Um, it was funny at times yeah but the overall plot was dumb as hell yeah and I did not like any of the sorority girls at all yeah me they, either. All they were really annoying <laughs> like why wasn't Selena Gomez in it like the whole time <laughs> I think it would have been funnier like like if they had been more like stereotypical sorority girls yeah you know? yeah like, why they choose to like pick on like the chill cool yeah weed smoking girls like. yeah that's what it's about it's it was okay there's just like there's some parts that were really funny but then it was just such dumb humor and just crude and just stupid like they always add these stupid things in there or like at one point this woman's baby like started coming out of her and it was like her the foot was hanging out it was just stupid like there's a lot of stupid things like that um but there were some really funny parts and I love Seth Rogen and I like Zac Efron too. I used to not like him, but I actually think he's actually pretty funny. He's more respectable now, but yep. So I don't know, it was all right, it was all right. 
I would give it like three, maybe three and a half stars out of five. What do you think, babe? You two? <laughs> yeah, I'd give it like three. Yeah, me too. I mean, it was pretty It was good. all right. It was a good to like zone out and just like watch that. But yeah. anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here because I'm going to go home and go to bed. We got to get up tomorrow. We got to do stuff. We're getting married in two weeks. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Are you excited, babe? Yes, I'm pumped. I'm getting really excited. Me too. Oh, I just want to call you my hubby. <laughs> Officially. It's going to be finally real. And I'm going to have a new last name. Crazy. Yeah, so, yeah. we are excited. And we'll see you guys in our next vlog.